um, I would like to share some thoughts with myself and I wonder what is the relationship between what I call my higher self which I know is God but God is, is only God insofar as he knows himself and uh, his his self-knowledge become, becomes man's knowledge of God and God's knowledge of man through uh, through a process of self-cognition and recognition. So God does not yet exist because in order for God to exist as God, he must be conscious of himself. So that's a very complicated speculative uh, insights that we find in Meister Eckhart, in Jakob Böhm, in Hegel, is that um, being is God, so everything is God, but being without the consciousness of itself as, as God is not really God, so that's quite complex. But what I want to, to, to understand and what I wonder is, in my view, when one has a mystical experience, and I learned that mystical is the word that we commonly use to, to mean what Hegel calls speculative. When you, you conceive of, of opposites in their unity, uh, you have a mystical experience. You have a, a, a speculative experience. And one of the most intense experiences mystical experiences that I had was in, in, in uh, December 2017 and I, and I had spent the past week or so or more thinking about, about philosophy and, and science and, and, and religion and um, I realized by when I was walking that reality was rational and that uh, my rationality was real because I could understand uh, the not the laws that work in nature and and I I, I, I I understood that by by understanding the laws of nature one could predict the changes of nature so that my my reason was in nature and that I myself was a, was a product of nature so that the, the rationality of nature was within me so I, I I just realized which is very stupid because in in, in, in our day and age everyone knows that nature is rational but I had to, 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 to realize this, that the, 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 the laws of my mind as, as, a, as a thinking entity and the laws of nature can become identical when I think properly about the world and the movements of the planets and the, the, the meteor, meteorological, cosmological, physical world. And, and I, 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 had, I realized that the real was rational and the rational was real. But it was not... Um, what Hegel means when he says that das wirklich, uh, was ist wirklich, das ist vernünftig, was ist vernünftig, das ist wirklich, what he means is that what is uh, speculative is, is actual and what is actual is speculative. So it doesn't mean rationality in the sense of the modern, in the way in which modern science understands it. But in my mystical experience, I simply realized which every high school student should know that nature is rational and that your mind is rational and that you can understand nature. And I remember uh, Einstein said that the most amazing thing about the universe is that we can understand the universe. So even the greatest, which is considered the greatest uh, phys physicist ever, was amazed by this very simple uh, fact that nature, the, the world of time, space and matter, is intelligible. Even to him, who was a, a genius physicist? It was still, in its simplicity, it was it was brilliant and it was a, a source of amazement and wonder. So yeah, when I realized this, I had a mystical experience by by being confronted by religious uh, images and, and 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 artistic images with with Wagner, and it was it was mystical. And uh, yeah, and then I, I say that because um, in the philosophy of Hegel, 
what he calls the concept, which is the thought which grasps within itself the whole of reality, or reason, which is the identity of the singular consciousness with the whole of reality, and they are one in, 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 uh, in, in their thinking ability. And in the philosophy of Hegel, and the reason why no one understands Hegel uh, as it should be understood is because reason and, and, and the concept, they are thinking entities, but which incarnate and, 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 and um, embody themselves in a living individual. And when you have a mystical experience, it is known in the mystical tradition, you, 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 become, you become one with the divine and, and you become the consciousness of the divine. The, the relationship between the knower, the, the known, what is known, and the knowing, the process of, of, of knowing what is known, the free become one. So you become the subject and the object and... and uh, there's a, um, a quote by Meister Eckhart which says that the eye through which God sees me and the eye through which I see God are one and the same. So when you have a speculative or mystical experience, uh, the divine or God sees himself through you. And um, when I had my, my God experience of 2018, I realized that my mind as an individual had been connected by synchronicities, coincidences, mystical experiences, rational processes with reality, with the external world. And, and I realized that when the mind and the world, the subject and the object become one, the creature and the creation, in a way you, you penetrate into the mind of the creator. The distinction between creature, creation, creator, or, or, or subject and object, when it is transcended, you penetrate the mind of God, which is beyond subject and object, and God is precisely this unity of, of opposites. And, and so I believed myself to, to be the, 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 the creator, in a way, because when I had these, these mystical, speculative understandings, which never, occur, never occurred randomly, what differentiates me from many mystics is that I include what Hegel calls der Verstand within my intellectual development, is that every time that I had a mystical insight, which was actually a speculative understanding, it was the result and the fruit of, of the labor of, of der Verstand. It was because I accumulated knowledge and understanding and made connections with, with scientific, as we understand it, scientific understanding. So my, my speculative insights included within themselves rational understanding of the world. It did not uh, fall from the sky. It was not divine revelation coming from God knows where. It was the self-process of, of, of understanding. And I was kind of rewarded, if one might say, when I understood more and more and made more and more connections between events and knowledge and facts and, and sciences and branch of knowledge. The more I understood, the more I, I had these, these mystical speculative insights. And um, um, so my question is, what is the relationship between this empirical individual, which for 99% of my life, I have identified as being me, and my, my higher self, which I identified as being uh, a reason or, or spirit or, or, or even God, what is the relationship between them both? Because the way I understand, God needs to embody himself in order to become conscious of himself. He needs to, to plunge himself into his own creation and to extract himself out of it. And, and uh, the philosophy of Hegel says that the, the, the individual should negate himself completely and, and just be the passive receptacle of, of the higher self, which I agree. But what I don't understand is that my empirical self is connected to the world. I have um, intellectual attachments to the real world and I am not totally um, passive in the sense that there are, there are elements and phenomena and facts and, and events in the world which reflect 
the the the, the my my psyche as an, an individual and not only the, the psyche of my higher self. So I am in a in a process of adopting the, the the relationship between my empirical self, which must be negated and aufgehoben, and my higher self is uh, yeah. Because I will just read the, the quotes um, from a song by by Lady Gaga, and in my worldview, pop music and art at large, but pop music, modern pop music, is just a, a particular instance, a particular particular case of art. Is that uh, art is a means by which Absolute spirit becomes conscious of itself. It's a message that that spirit sends to himself to 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 become uh, co cognizant, to to become in a cognitive relationship uh, with itself. And a few days ago, I stumbled upon this song, which I already knew, but then it made a lot of meaning. And the song says, "Baby, there's no other superstar. You know that I will be your papa paparazzi. Promise I'll be kind, but I won't stop until that boy is mine." Baby, you'll be famous. Chase you down until you love me. And uh, God is being. God is reality. And, and reality will chase me until I, I, I learn to love reality. And in my worldview, to love is not uh, an, an act of feeling or emotion. It's an act of, of cognitive understanding. So the way I see it, reality will follow me until I fully understand not in all the details, because it's impossible to have a, a, a detailed encyclopedic knowledge of reality, but in, in, the, in, in the universals at work, in the, in the conceptual structure of reality, until I understand reality, and which means God, reality and God will follow me, and um, I become sometimes, very often, I become schizophrenic, because I know that there is a transcendental, a higher presence within me, which I call God or my higher self, which knows everything about me. That's why the religion says that God knows the, the darkest secrets of your heart, because this, this transcendental presence is, is within me at some moments, and, and it knows my fears, uh, my, my dark sides, my wickedness. Uh, I, I cannot hide from my higher self. So, I, I, I'm starting to understand that, that, that God wants to, to become a complete master of this empirical individual by, by revealing all his, his, his secrets, all his dark and, and light aspects. But then I wonder, why would, would, would God want to do that with me if I am just uh, a, a contingent individual? Because in Hegel's philosophy, the concept embodies itself in an individual, and it is just the receptacle of the suffering of the concept. And the, the individual is completely contingent. But my question is, why would the higher principle seek to understand and to uncover and to grasp the, the, the particular aspects of this empirical me and the peculiarities? Because um, Hegel says that the principle know thyself means know your spiritual essence, know your higher self, which I am trying to do. But uh, he says that the, the, the particular aspects of the individual which is embodied, the body in which the soul or the mind lives, are irrelevant. So I'm not sure if I must trust Hegel or trust my own experience, because in my own experience, some determinations of this empirical me appear in reality. So... I am starting to doubt, and uh, I am I am I have not yet solved the, the 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 problem, but I will try to to uh, limit the influence of my lower self. That's what I said in my previous video, and let truth and 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 the mind purified from the body speak through me. But uh, yeah, so I am in a state of doubt and. Uh, yeah.